Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you how to make a drip irrigation system in the cheapest way, consuming only around $2 or 120 rupees max to max. You can do drip irrigation system in that in a cheap rate. Let me show you. And what are the instruments required for this? These are the arrow lights. These are two types of gun. So you need these. And mastics. Uh, wooden mastics. This one. You can see it. So these are the mastics. And you need some refills which you have used and left out empty refills. So these are empty refills. So empty refills. I need to cut those them these empty refills like this. So these things. So these are empty refills here. And you need one candle. So you call mastics to burn. And uh, this I have told you already. Right. So and finally you need some kind of and you need this kind of pipes. Tubes will be easily available in all hardware shops. So this cost very less. So you can buy this easily and the hole in this is uh, tiny so you can easily go for this. So I will show you how to prepare the model for that and also you need a bucket like this one container. Any kind of one. You can make a hole in that and easily do it. And you need to need two nails, iron nails. So two nails of size around 0.6 and this wire cost around rate of around 3 rupees per meter so it is called a centering wire this is leveling tube wire so you can get easily in my, all the hardware shops and see the show you so this is the material which is i am using here i have just done here piercing you can see there so you can do that easily in my, see you can do that here for that you you can go for this method using some sticks we uh, heat it and heat it to red hot and just pierce it here like this so that uh, the holes are made in the bucket after making the hole use the pipe and pierce it in, in inside easily and when you have pierced uh, make sure that you have pierced the uh, around uh, one half inch extra inside so that you can block the water if you are not required for that so as I have done here see you can see that if you want to block the water for that particular junction of pipes so you can block it here so for that I, I will use this uh, same uh, needle only here if you want do, uh, don't want this type so I will just easily put back this here and block this this is the way and how to make this pair and uh, solidify this easily so for that I'll use this kind of these two paste. So this is the two gels. One is black and one is uh, regular. See, this is a standard one, and this is a hard one, hard one. So we have to first apply this one, standard, so that it will get a white coat. And this is a hardener, which is a black coat. So after when you apply and make it, it will get a like a brownish type cement color, gray color. So once it's done, it's uh, fully fixed. And for extra extra stiffness, I have added this candle, burnt this candle, and have added here so that water won't get leaked. Anyway, it won't get. But as, as extra safety because of the heat, you will place completely this in outside. So I have just made it. If it melts also, it can hold it easily. So next, and the other side I have kept a new wire. So I'll show you how. First, I have show you how I made the first one. So you can see here. This is the. So this is the way I have done here. So here I have used the refill, and here is a stop as a stopper for the water. I have used the wooden mastics, and have pierced the hole in here, so it will be lining in here. So you can judge here. This is the holes which I have used for that. So how many holes you required you can do that. Yes, and the end pipe will be open. For that you need to add the iron nail here. And you have to add put it like this. So that the water will be in a, will come in with a force. You have to use this. If you don't want water in here. You can use this to block the inside, inside thing. 
so this is the in ways and these uh, whatever the holes we make or pierce it's depend on how your requirements where all you are uh, means in a home kind of pots will uh, keep it depends on that how we will keep can and uh, the main thing is you need to keep it as a height gravity you have to use the gravity for the flow for this so you can get easily the at the uh, very speed at a force you can get that so you have to use it at the so guys this is the way i have assembled it see in here the tubes is a new wire here it's not it been pierced or all thing and this is the old wire which have them ready or pipe which have them already pierced in this is the outlook here set up so this is the pipe i have where it will flow the water and i have blocked one thing so let me show you the starting thing of this filling the water completely so once you fill it here so i can easily go to the distribution so guys I have filled the water completely and I have kept at a height, particular height. So as you can see here, the deep irrigations. I have not done anything still yet. So you can see here, the water's drop by drop water is just falling here. So see, see here, and this is not at falling. See, you can just see here. So I'll just make an adjustment for that, and I will show you how to adjust it. So guys, it's the water is not drop by drop. It's not at falling. So I'll just make it loose. And I'll make the wooden stick a bit loose so that drop by drop water will be falling. So you can see the water here, falling drop by drop. So if you want this a bit fast, so I can just loosen it up a bit more so that you can get water a bit more faster. See. This is the dropper with faster rate. So I have set it. It's all done. So I will show you. So this is the adjustment here. So I will make it again a bit loose. Once you done the adjustment it's ok and well and fine. So you see guys I have set it at a lower rate and here here it's a bit faster so how you want and the which type of pots you have earthen pots you can set for that size see this is the way and uh, what is falling here so it's a bit slow if I want this make it fast just make it pull it over so that it will be faster see this is the faster rate so how depends on the height where you take it see if I take it lower it will be like faster so it all, it all depends on the gravity how you took it so I apply like this so that I need only drop by drop so I'll keep it the drop by drop wise see this is drop by drop wise so water will be continuously falling for this and the same follows for this so let me show how to make the holes and pairings and stoppage of water and have used in here a bit a white color glue it is a very call so that water won't split get split here from the refills so that's the thing to remove these air bubbles so you can see the air bubbles in here don't for, forget to remove this air bubbles as the water won't go clear so leave some water before for your initial setup so if you leave the water all the air bubbles will be emptied out so you can see the air bubbles here so this there is air bubbles here so you need to remove that air bubbles clearly so that water will be water flow will be continuous so guys we have blocked the water here so i have removed all the air bubbles so i have blocked it so wind up it wherever you need just make it sure that for which thing you want you can just keep it on it and just keep it i'm just keeping this so i now show you how to make that pierce there's a safety pin here so i want for this pot so there is a just make it any hole don't too much make too much too much just press it slightly so that the hole is made There is a hole here. Okay. Adjust the pipe and make a pierce in here. So I'll just make a pierce. So just I'll wind up with this so that you uh, take the line. So wherever you want, you can make it. Hmm. Well, so make it a pierce here. So just along it too. So that water will spill it here over like this. So you can see the water spilling here. So the same to 
I'll make it a bit more wide now so that the water will be getting easily so that I can add this kind of this thing here so I'll push it for don't make the hole so after that you can can stop the water flowage so make it only thin on so guys this is the new one see the water flowage is a bit faster so you avoid that you can use the block here. as a blocker or a stopper you can use the mastic so just I'll just put it here as a stopper so you can adjust the speed for what speed you can require see here so drop irrigation drip irrigation so this is free if it is if you feel it is speed you can stop it a bit more so that it will stop see so this is how a drip irrigation works guys so we can go for it and it's a cheaper way and easier way to can uh, make it at a cheaper rate hope you like the video guys please subscribe and see you for more updates